Welcome to the Wong Warrior, the famous, at least in North Texas, Wong Warrior. We're here with uh, Christy Wong, and we'll be taking a flight today on taking off. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome to this edition of Taking Off. We're here with Christy Wong and the Wong Warrior. Okay, can you hear me? I can. Excellent. All right. If you need to mess with your squelch or your volume, it's right here on the right side under co-pilot. And uh, where would we find the AC? The AC is right... Oh, I was kidding. I didn't think you had any. Tango, we Alpha do. Four. Now we can use it for Going taxi. Back to the turn, it off. turn it off okay, for takeoff. Same thing, my plane. Uh, yep. uh, crossing ahead, give way, taxi bottle uh, to go. The only thing about my airplane that I wish I could change right now is uh, the electric trim doesn't work, so if I get down in here, I'm not getting fresh with you. It's, it's me trying to get the trim. All right. Let's get this baby on the road. All right. Good morning, Denton Ground. Cherokee 305 and Whiskey in front of the FBO with the numbers ready to taxi to the runway. Cherokee 305 and Whiskey, Denton Ground, runway 18, taxi, Bravo Alpha. That's good. Okay, Bravo Alpha over to 18, Bible Whiskey. Ah, uh, all right, that shut. All right. Kevin's always looking out for us. Yeah, I like him a lot. Yeah, brake check. He treats these airplanes like they are his own. All right. Okay. One thing you'll learn about me is I am a very safe, overly cautious pilot. Okay. You know, I'm still rather low time. I've got about 280 hours, so uh, everything I do is, you know, double checking, rechecking, use your checklist. Did you look at your checklist? Have you checked it twice? I'm like the Santa Claus of flying. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and do our before takeoff check. So flight controls, watch your knees. Sorry. All right. All right, I feel a rudder. Uh, you do have brakes and full controls on your side, so if I keel over dead, you can fly the airplane. All right, we're gonna go ahead. All right. People leave her too rich, so she tends to get foul plugs, so we're gonna go ahead and burn it off for a second. Good girl. See, I'm watching my EGTs. Yep. They're coming up. Good girl. Go ahead and try that again. See? Perfect. Curb heat on. Good drop. Suction looks good. Amps are amping. Curb heat off. Power back. Power to idle. Brake is off. All right. Good girl. I talk to my airplane a lot, like she's my pet, so. All right. Doors and windows. <laughs> Flaps are up. Trim is set. First windows, lights, transponder. Okay, we're gonna avoid that area over there because those look like fun thunderstorms. The sub vector for one more R and have them. All right. Ten Tower, Cherokee 305 and Whiskey, holding short runway 18 for VFR departure to the west. Cherokee 305 and Whiskey, Denton Tower, holding short runway 18, landing traffic. All right, holding short for landing traffic, 185 and Whiskey. Cherokee 198, you follow a Cessna just off your right wing now on final, it'd be number three. Oh. Number three. We're out of traffic, we're following the Cessna, 198. Cessna 6 Juliet Romeo, if you reduce about two zero knots for traffic, you're going to be number four. Five to the Holy right, cow. following a Cherokee uh, uh, three uh, miles ahead and to your right. It will slow down with number five, not your six Thanks. Uh, but I'm gonna let you know I don't fly for like beauty, glamour, or attraction. I fly for comfort. So if you see me like Last call for tower. try it again, please. Grab a pencil and throw my hair up. Sorry, not sorry. We have the numbers. <laughs>
okay? No factor. Thank you. Best co-pilot ever. Yeah. We had a long sit in the Texas heat. <laughs> there, there, there. Only one eight clear to land. And, uh, one, two, but now we're on our way. Final no factor. Christy, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, now we're watching some traffic and stuff like that, so we're not talking a lot yet. Somebody out there 200 feet below us. Yeah, I see that. I see it on the iPad. Traffic in sight, no factor. Okay. Thank you. Well, he's coming in tight now. He's turning into us. But uh, traffic in sight. Oh, wow. It's a fighter jet. Wow. Oh, I wish he was on the other side. The camera would I catch know. him. That was a cool fighter jet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, um, Christy. Uh, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, and who you're married to and how you got into aviation. So I am married to the famous CFI, Steve Wong. Um, a lot of people on North Texas Aviators know him. Um, I have always been interested in aviation. Uh, actually, that's how Steve and I first met. I uh, took a couple of flying lessons and then started reaching out to people for advice. This was back in 2007. Uh, wound up getting in touch with him through a friend of a friend of a friend. <laughs> And, um, you know, if you've ever met Steve, you'll know that he is one of the nicest, um, goofiest, most fun people to be with. And we instantly hit it off. He became my best friend and, you know, we started dating and the rest is history. Um, I've wanted to fly since I was four years old, but uh, just real talk, you know, I, I had a kid when I was very young, I was 19. And so I wound up uh, putting off college for a couple years then went to college, um, met Steve, got married, grad school, career. And it really wasn't until about a year and a half, well, almost two years ago that um, I finally had the courage to tell him that I was interested in learning how to fly. Um, I say that because Steve was, uh, uh, he left aviation in 2011 and it was sort of bittersweet for him. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's the, the story in a nutshell. He supported me and we started flying. We joined the Arrow Valley Flying Club. And uh, yeah, now I'm the president of the Flying Club. So, I'm not seeing any traffic. No, me neither. I'm kind of keeping an alert here. My, my attention is divided between, you know, no, no, talking and company and conversation and, uh, of course, the traffic. Okay, so to, um, you know, to see you on Facebook and to see you on social media uh, before I'd ever even met you, I got the impression that you'd been a pilot for like ever, <laughs> but that's, that's not the case. No. When did you uh, start training? So I started actually training uh, February of last year, so February of 2017. And uh, I started studying a couple months prior to that and started kind of lining up my ducks. You know, I started studying for the written. Steve took me up for a couple of like intro flights, if you will, but I really didn't start my training until the end of February, 2017. And I got my private pilot certificate in uh, July, July 7th of last year. And do you have your IFR? I do. I, I received, went right into IFR. I did. I received my instrument certificate in December of last year. Wow. And now you're working on commercial. Now I'm working on commercial. And maybe by the time I've edited this, you'll have uh, passed your check ride, right? Maybe. <laughs> Are you nervous? I am very. Because, you know, it's so important. It means so much to me to get through these ratings, so. Okay, so let's talk about the Wong Warrior. Sure. Um, this is a Warrior Two. Yes. Um, it's interesting that the, uh, from what I've read, the major difference between the Cherokee and the Warrior, or one of the major differences, is the wing. Instead of it being just that Hershey bar wing, it's actually got some movement on the wing. And uh, that if you look, you actually see the wing kind of dips down. And what I'm told is that even if it stalls at the root, that gives you more lift at the, uh, at the end of the wing. Yeah, so it's a longer tapered wing. So you get a little bit of a better uh, better performance in terms of glide ratio. I'm going to climb above this layer just to let you know, okay. so that it's uh, a little bit smoother for us. Because okay. it sure is bumpy down there today. So, we. Um, so yeah, the warrior warrior has a uh, has a slightly different wing, but um, 
overall really great performance. This particular Warrior has a 180 horsepower upgraded engine. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they, they come standard with either a 150 or 160 horsepower, right. and ours has a 180 STC. So. Wow. So 180, then um, that moves you up from like the 115 range to what? Like 120. All right. Yeah, we get a little bit better uh, capacity in it, but it's cool being able to stay 180 horsepower, so. Okay, so now let's talk clubs. Okay. Um, so somebody that's new to flying, they can rent a plane from their school. Yep. Or they can join a club, a flying club. Tell me about that. What's the difference between that and like a partnership? All right. Um, so fortunately in North Texas, we've got a lot of really great options. Um, you've got people like Sherman Gardner who run in the pattern. Um, he does aircraft rentals. Um, you've got, of course, uh, Tamara Griffith with Fox Aviation, which she is a school, but, um, you know, she also rents out her plane. You've got numerous clubs. Nate Abel is another fantastic club. Of course, I'm the president of Aero Valley Flying Club. Our whole mission is to try to make aviation as affordable as possible. Um, it's, it really is very difficult finding, a, you know, aircraft uh, to fly and rent without breaking the bank. And so that, that really is our mission, is that we're, we're trying not to do that. We really, truly are trying to, to keep it affordable so that people can, you know, keep up their skills, share aviation with friends and family, you know, get advanced ratings. That's, that's really what our club is all about. I am particularly passionate about it because had I been able to afford it when I was much younger, I would have been flying a long, long time ago. So I've got a very vested interest in it. All right, well, somebody that's not in um, not in the area of North Texas, let's say they're in Pennsylvania or they're in California, what can they do to try to find a flying club? I would suggest reaching out to AOPA. AOPA is an ambassador uh, for flying clubs. So it's they're very helpful. A lot of times they try to collect information on flying clubs. Um, sometimes a quick Google search will aid in that, but Honestly, I mean, AOPA does such a great job of helping with that. That's actually how we've gotten two, three, four members. Um, also, go to your local uh, pilot shop. Um, I know that's what a lot of our uh, members do as well. We actually have information at our pilot shop about our flying club so that when they, when prospective new members go there, um, the wonderful people at Tina's pilot shop can go ahead and just hand them a small flyer that we've made. All right. HM Tower, Cherokee 3051 with key, about 13 miles to the northwest, inbound full stop. Wait, what was? I did not hear that. That wasn't us. calling from the northwest, each return again. Yes, sir, Cherokee 3051 with key. Uh, now we're about 12 miles to the northwest, inbound for full stop. Cherokee 3051 with Kimmy Trim Tower, continue, join a four mile final for runway one six, report establish on final. Okay, continue for four mile final, runway one six, five on with Kimmy. Tower 7 Gulf X, we're here, problem south for the option. We. Bonanza 50 Charlie, go around. Oh, that's interesting. 50 Charlie's going around. Four mile hey, finals just inside there. The yeah. aircraft on runway. Uh, this heading's a good heading for that. Okay. Yeah, I can try and land it long and see if he can get off. Land to 5 zero Charlie, go around. Land course traffic. Roger, going around for 5 zero Charlie. Fine. Tower up at three, headed back to the ramp on Bravo. But as a 5 zero Charlie, start your left. Definitely bumpy out here today. Turning for 5 Yes, it is. Call from 2 2 Tango, front runway heading, runway 1 6 clear for takeoff, wind 1 1 0 8. Clear for takeoff, fly the runway heading, November 2 2 Tango. Man, I would love it if this uh, weather would cooperate and let me hold a heading. Yeah. Now, do you have an autopilot in here? Um, I do, but it's disconnected. So we do have a wing leveling autopilot, but we, we actually had it taken off. So it's off. in off right now. Yeah, it is in off. This is about a good heading, right? Uh, let's go another five degrees left. You're trying left turn, uh, when able, contact ground off. Left turn, Birds. Able, ground one off, five zero. Birds? Yeah. Um, Come back, Karen, I'll turn to 288. You're now six. Uh, Cherokee 3051 with the verify you're at 1,800 feet, about three miles west of Hicks. 
That's affirmative, sir. 1800 and just uh, west of Hicks. For 5 Whiskey. Roger. Right, 5 one Whiskey. Report established on final for runway 16. All right, we'll report established on final, 5 Whiskey. Air Chair 337, Mason Tower, hold short 16, waiting IFR release. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's map. Okay. Yeah, Meacham Tower, Cherokee 305 and Whiskey is established on final for runway 16. Cherokee 51 Whiskey, runway 16, wind 1206, clear to land. Clear to land 16, 51 Whiskey. That is map. Alright. Is that the Wong Warrior? Affirmative, sir. Wong Warrior in us. Uh, coming in. Hey! Hey! That would be Matt. <laughs> Matt Wells was, uh, my very uh, first guest on are, taking off. Uh, oh, wow. Please, ready to head back to the house. Uh, you want to call my turn across midfield? I've always been intimidated uh, talking to uh, air traffic control. Oh, really? Yeah. I used to when I was, you know, first learning. Shortly. Roger that. This uh, camera in my face right, brings a new challenge. Not, I mean. I can pull it if you want. Uh, I'll pull it. Wind variable at five. Ah, that's better. All right. All right. Nice bumpy landing. Is there 41 uh, Charlie? Traffic at your. Traffic at your 11 o'clock and a mile east. We can do a full stop and be back track to the far round. 41 Charlie's got the other Centurion inside. 41 Charlie, frequency proof, see ya. Good day, 41 Charlie. 553 Romeo Alpha, you said you're full stopping as well? A full stop and we're at Old Tag, ready to Romeo Alpha. That's 553 Romeo Alpha, Roger. Uh, continue for now. <sighs> Nice landing. Three Thank off. you. Air Chair, A affirmative. Test the three room alpha continue. Air Chair, 337, 1-6, line up and wait. 1-6, line up and wait. Air Chair, 337. 5-1, Whiskey, left one able, ground one off. Talk to you soon. All right, left one able, uh, ground, and talk to you soon. 5-1, Whiskey. Woo! Air <laughs> Chair, 337, change plans. Runway 1-6, right, takeoff, wind variable at 5. Nine. Six, clear for takeoff, Air Chair. Okay. Nice job, Christy. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, so that was good. Uh, you back taxi or? Yeah, let's back taxi. Okay. Meet jump ground, Cherokee 3051 Whiskey, off at Alpha 2, uh, back taxi to the runway. Cherokee 37 Whiskey, meet jump ground, runway 16, taxi via Alpha. Alpha to 16, 51 Whiskey. Hey, thanks for uh, watching today. Uh, thanks, Christy, for uh, taking us up in the Wong Warrior. Uh, it's been uh, long in coming, and I'm glad we were able to feature you and your plane. Thanks for having me. Don't forget, everybody, please subscribe to our channel as we try to build those uh, numbers. And uh, we'll have a lot more stuff coming your way. Thanks.